Apple just dropped watchOS 26 developer beta 5. The public beta should be out probably tomorrow or the day after. Let's go ahead and take a look at this one real quick and just see what we see that could be new or what kind of improvements we're seeing with this build. First off, the build number is 23R. 5328G, and that G is a good indicator that we're still a little ways away from the public release. That's got to get all the way down to A or even B before we really see things actually being like almost there. So we still got a ways to go. We got the rest of this month, a little bit of next month. The rumor is, is that the announcement could happen on, I believe, September 9th is what I read. I'd have to re-double check that. Usually even then, you got like another week before the watch OS is out, and then another week after that before the new watches and stuff are out. That build did come in at 1.5 gigabytes. So, you know, not a huge build, but not anything small when it comes to the watch either. So let's start out with the control center and see if there's anything new here. So everything looks pretty similar here. I got my notes add-on right there that I added. If you didn't know, you can go into the edit, hit the plus right up here. There's an item you don't see, you have like suggested right up top. So I could also be able to add a quick timer directly from the control center. And Apple is expanding the control center big time with third party apps as well. So a lot of these will not work yet. So I can come in here. Dark noise is one they kind of showcased in the keynote, but even that one, I believe it just kind of, there we go. Maybe it will work now. Long fade, choose the noise. Let's come in here. So I can do rainstorm, timer type. Let's just go ahead and click done and let it go. And oh, it actually has an icon now too. So that's nice. And it automatically turned on a rainstorm sound on my iPhone, which is really awesome. So glad to see that fully working because I know I've tried it before and it didn't really work properly. So let's go ahead, tap that again, see if it actually turns it off. And it did, great. So other third-party apps may not have full function just yet because obviously the dark noise one was actually in the keynote, but we'll go ahead and try to add one more, hit the done there. So this one obviously doesn't have an icon, and if I tap it, it actually does nothing. So, oh, wait, icon has appeared, and it's working. So now, let's see, it's wanting me to enter a passcode. Swipe up. Um, so I'm not sure if it's actually working or not, because the phone is not recording. If I hit stop, now I should have the app on my watch as well, but I may, there it is. I would figure it should trigger this one. So I don't see no recent recordings. Let's go ahead and try this one more time. I'm gonna hit, see if I can get that to focus. Hit that, come down here, hit the record, and now it's recording on my phone. So. You know, not ideal, but that's what this really is. These apps that are on here already, that's why the dark noise played on the phone. Everything right now, at least, is triggered from the phone more so. Let's go ahead and stop that and see if it... Those are really only showing up in the control center here because they have control center options on the phone as well for the phone's control center. So that's why those are showing up. So hopefully they'll get more actual all watch support for those in the very, very near future when the final release is out and those developers have actually updated their apps as well. So Control Center is getting a lot more powerful and I'm really still very happy to see that. Let's look at the notifications. Those are fairly easy to read. A little bit of see-throughness there. Let me go ahead and switch to a brighter wallpaper, you know, that you can see through. You can get that glass effect. I don't know how, if, with the time right there, you can kind of see through it. So that's kind of nice to see. 
But overall, it's still working well. The watch has been pretty responsive. I've had a couple like soft crashes here and there. That's basically when you get that little wheel of death, but then it quickly comes back to your watch face. Sometimes it makes you put in the passcode, sometimes it doesn't. But overall, everything seems to be working quick and very responsive. So I've been pretty happy with the beta overall. This is not an endorsement to install the public beta. I've seen so many people install it and comment on my videos. And I'm like, how do I get out of this? And the only way to get out of it is to actually send your watch back to Apple. You can't do it yourself. You can't just plug it in to your computer or anything like that and downgrade like you can your phone. So just, this is a, this is the warning part of the video. Please do not install watchOS 26 if you don't want to keep it on your, you know, if you're worried about anything with your watch, because it does on occasion, you know, it can slow things down. Not everybody has the experience I'm having with it. Not everybody is used to running betas. So when they run into issues with their phones, they might not want it on their phone. If you downgrade your phone, then you're just stuck. Like you can't downgrade the watch without sending it directly into Apple. Going without your watch for multiple days and it's just like a little bit of a nightmare for a lot of people. So that's it. Warning ended. But keep in mind, you know, maybe skip the watch beta if you can. If you don't have to install it, just don't install it. All right. While we're here, let's go ahead and take a look at some watch faces. Let me. Usually this takes a few times before it starts processing that it can actually show the always on. There we go. And it finally, finally got the update that the update was complete for the watch. So that's funny. Let's go ahead and dismiss. So the always on with the Hermes, we now have the second hand that was in, I believe the first beta. So, but not every watch face has it. This is the reflections. This one's always had it. This watch face right here. I really wish they would do it on these with like the little tick dials. Like, I think that would look awesome but they, they just don't want to add them to those for some reason. Or that's the reflections. Which one's this? That one has it. What's this one called? Oh, this is solar analog. So solar analog does have it once it processes through. There you go. Um, but there's still many that don't, obviously, and Mickey that don't as well. So Mickey's not going to tap his foot. So, and there's plenty, like I'm not going to go through all of them that do and don't. I actually have done that, I believe, in like the first or second beta video. So I'll link that one down below if you want to see which ones support it and which ones don't. Of course, we'll also take a quick look at the watch faces. I'm not expecting to see anything new here. We have the photos, the pride the reflections and the flux, which the flux is really nice. And if you didn't know, if you haven't seen my other videos, they did separate everything into categories now. So the watch faces are now separated to make it a little bit easier to find the one you want. It's taken a little while for this to populate through. So, and they did remove multiple watch faces, including like Toy Story and a few others. I've talked about those in, previous videos. I think it was like five different watch faces that were removed. I'll put the list right here so you have them to go through and see which ones are gone. The workouts app has been really nice though. I've had a lot of fun with it. The workout buddies has worked really well. They did add that third voice. Let's go ahead and check to see if anything has changed in here. So when you go to your workout, you have this little button down here. Now, obviously for this to work, I believe you have to have an iPhone that can do the AI stuff. So you'll need the 15 Pro or 16 lineup to actually have the Workout Buddy work. Here's the Workout Buddy. I'm using Voice 2 currently. You can set it to alert you during different heart rate settings, time settings, or your split mile settings. So I just do split miles and time. I just, they just pop in and tell me, you know, you hit 10 minutes or you hit a mile, or you hit two miles. All that kind of stuff. So it's really nice. It's really fun. You can go and turn them off and it looks like there's still just three voices in here. Nothing looks like it's really new here. If you haven't seen the new workouts UI, it's really nice. I'm really enjoying it. 
makes it nice and easy to get to the one you want. But you can still get to that list view. I believe if you scroll all the way down, hit the plus, and now you'll have that full list of the supported workouts that you can actually scroll through. It looks like you can actually go in and now you get the full list. So it's a little bit more buried, but they try to make it as easy as can be to get to the workouts that you use the most. But they do offer a lot of workouts in the Workouts app now. The battery life on the watch has been pretty much the same since early betas. For me, usually I have no problem making it through a full day, probably close to 36 hours. Nothing too crazy, but still plenty of battery to get through my normal use. I can go ahead and go to the battery. So right now I'm at 93%. Last charged was this morning at 7.10. Now, obviously, you can see I charged it again. This was during when I was actually updating the watch to the beta. It got probably all the way up to like 90-some percent. Uh, the battery health on the watch has been good. It's at 100% still. If you didn't know, I did replace it because beta 3, I believe it was beta 3, actually killed the watch. Maybe it was beta 2 can't really remember at this point, but it killed all Hermes watches. Not really killed. A lot of people hate when I say that, but it, it basically, the watch app on the phone wouldn't launch and there was just a lot of like the, you couldn't use a Hermes watch face on the watch. It would just kill your battery life like no other. So I sent it in, they downgraded. They actually just sent me a new watch. So I expect to actually be able to stay on 100% on this one for quite a while, which is really, really nice because I'm planning on keeping this one past this next version. I'm still gonna buy the new one, don't get me wrong. I want probably the Ultra 3, but now I'll be able to keep the Hermes for another year and the battery life still be really, really good. But I think that is it for this video. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments below. I answer pretty much every comment that I get, so I try to do my best. And just thank you so much for watching. God bless.